Welcome. You have now entered the Haunted Library. This is where we tell scary stories inspired by you, our viewers. We know that everyone loves a good scare, and that's why we're here to bring you spine-tingling tales of horror and suspense. Each week, we will take our prompts and turn them into stories that will keep you up at night. From ghostly apparitions to monsters lurking in the shadows, we'll bring your ideas to life and take you on a journey into the unknown. We'll introduce you to characters that will both terrify and intrigue you, and transport you to worlds that are both familiar and otherworldly. Our stories are not for the faint of heart, but for those who crave the thrill of the unknown. So, if you have an idea for a scary story that you want to see come to life, share it with us. Let us bring your darkest imaginings to life and take you on a journey that will leave you breathless. Put your ideas in the comments below. In the small town of Oakville, nestled in the heart of the countryside, something strange had been happening. Reports of strange sinkholes appearing in the fields and forests around the town had been popping up for weeks. But most residents dismissed it as a natural phenomenon. Nothing to worry about. However, one fateful night, everything changed. The ground opened up, swallowing whole sections of town and pulling people under the earth. Screams of terror echoed through the streets as the ground swallowed homes and businesses, cars and people. As news of the disaster spread, rescue crews were called in from neighboring towns, but it quickly became apparent that there was nothing they could do to stop the mysterious sinkholes from growing and expanding. Panic gripped the town as residents scrambled to evacuate, but the ground seemed to be opening faster than they could flee. As the sun began to set on the first day of the disaster, a group of survivors huddled in a church, seeking refuge from the devastation outside. They watched in horror as the ground around the church began to rumble and shake, and then suddenly, the floor beneath them gave way plunging them into darkness. When they came to, they were in a deep, maze-like network of tunnels deep beneath the town. The air was thick and musty, and the only light came from glowing mushrooms that dotted the walls. They quickly realized that 
they were not alone down there. Strange, twisted creatures lurked in the shadows. Their glowing eyes watching the survivors with hungry interest. Days turned into weeks, and the survivors struggled to find a way out of the twisting, labyrinth of tunnels. The creatures became bolder and more aggressive, stalking the group and picking them off one by one. Madness set in, as they began to realize that they may never escape the darkness beneath the town. But the ground was not finished with them yet. In a final horrifying twist, the tunnels began to collapse, the walls and ceiling coming down around the survivors. They scrambled to find a way out, but it was too late. The ground had claimed them. There was nothing left but darkness and screams. In the end, Oakville was nothing but a memory swallowed by the very earth it had stood upon. The survivors of the disaster were never found, lost forever in the twisting tunnels beneath the town. To this day, no one knows what calls the sinkholes, or what lies beneath the earth that claimed Oakville. <laughs>